For the first Sunday of Lent, the homiletic directory has six paragraphs about the first Sunday day of Lent, numbered 58 to 63, and it includes a quote from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 539. In the appendix, it recommends these paragraphs of the Catechism, with the headings, The Temptation of Jesus, uh, where there's five paragraphs, Lead Us Not Into Temptation, with four paragraphs, uh, The Fall, 11 paragraphs, and the heading, Adam, Original Sin, Christ, the New Adam, 12 paragraphs. So there's a total of 32 paragraphs there, which is a lot more than normal. Uh, for the eighth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A, there were 17 paragraphs. And the readings for this Mass are from the first reading from Genesis, the second reading from St. Paul to the Romans, and the Gospel of Matthew uh, with the temptation of Jesus by Satan. Uh, here's, there's a listing of the 32 recommended paragraphs in sequential order and it sort of highlights that uh, another way of putting it is to say 385 to 411 leaving out five of these 27 paragraphs or another way of putting that is to say it's all of the section on the heading paragraph 7 the fall which is 385 to 412 leaving out six paragraphs. So this section uh, has, has in brief uh, 4.13 to 4.21 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Uh, the headings for this are paragraph 7, the fall. One, where sin abounded, grace abounded all the more. The reality of sin, original sin and essential truth of the faith. How to read the account of the fall. Two, the fall of the angels. Three, original sin. Free and put to the test, man's first sin, the consequences of Adam's sin for humanity, a hard battle. And four, you did not abandon him to the power of death. And then the in brief. Some unusual words in this section of the Catechism are mendacious, recapitulate, salvific, vanquished, discernment, superabundance, prerogatives, analogical, concupiscence, Pelagian, Pelagianism, lucid, dour, proto-evangelum, and atoned. So here are some highlights, uh, I think, from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. So I've just sort of gone through and picked out particular sentences that I thought were particularly appropriate. Uh, from 538, Jesus rebuffs these attacks which recapitulate the temptations of Adam in Paradise. From 540, by the solemn 40 days of Lent, the Church unites herself each year to the mystery of Jesus in the desert. From 2846, we therefore ask our Father not to lead us into temptation. It is difficult to translate the Greek verb used by a single English word. The Greek means both, do not allow us to enter into temptation, and do not let us yield to temptation. From 2847, the Holy Spirit makes us discern between trials which are necessary for the growth of the inner man and temptation which leads to sin and death. From 388, we must know Christ as the source of grace in order to know Adam as the source of sin. From 396, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil symbolically evokes the insurmountable limits that man, being a creature, must freely recognise and respect with trust. From 403, following St Paul, the Church has always taught that the overwhelming misery which oppresses men and their inclination towards evil and death cannot be understood apart from their connection with Adam's sin. From 404, it is a sin which will be transmitted by propagation to all mankind, that is, by the transmission of a human nature deprived of original holiness and justice. From 409, this dramatic situation of the whole world, which is in the power of the evil one, makes man's life a battle. From 411, furthermore, many fathers and doctors of the church have seen the woman announced in the Proto-Evangelium as Mary, the mother of Christ, the new Eve. From 6.15, Jesus atoned for our faults 
and made satisfaction for our sins to the Father. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.